My name is Lena Wills. I'm an army wife. People want to know how do I cope with a life filled with change and uncertainty. They ask me how does it feel to spend a lot of time alone, to console my child when he misses his dad. Nick was two when we got married. On the day of our wedding, I promised myself that I'll leave my painful past behind me. It was the beginning of a new chapter in our lives. A beautiful and exciting chapter. I was finally happy. David. Lieutenant David Wills, the most wonderful person I have ever met. He's my life. And for our son Nick, he's a hero. He made me realize what true love meant. This is our life. This is our story. A story of love. sacrifice and separation Relocating is a part of army life. There is a mix of anticipation and excitement every time. This was our third move in last five years. We were welcomed by very friendly neighbors. Nick even made some wonderful friends. We just loved our new home. We all were looking forward to start our life in it. No ice cream for Nick tonight, all right? He's been acting really, very silly, and this is his punishment. Course time. You know how strict I can be. You're right, but we really have to be strict with him, okay? He's turning into a brat day by day. Having said that, no ice cream, no TV, and no pizza. Got it? David, come on. I'm serious here. Why are you joking around? Did I mention that you look breathtakingly beautiful tonight? Okay, don't change the subject, David. Listen, we have to. Don't don't worry about Nick. I will make sure that he learns his lesson. You're a big trouble, Mister. Just relax, enjoy your time with the girls. I'll see what needs to be done. All right, I'll try to be back by eleven. Okay. Take your time, honey. Nick, behave. Okay. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. Love you. Love you too. Let's go, mate. What flavour? <gasps> Chocolate! Yes, Daddy! Awesome. Yes. I'll order yes. later. You get the ice creams. Yes, yes, yes. But Nick, you need to be good for Mummy. Yes, yes. I and promise. We to, and we need to get rid of the evidence before she gets back. Yes, sir! <laughs>
I have learned to treasure such moments because before you know these beautiful moments become memories the memories that we have created together keep us going when david is away from us Let's get a photo, kids. Okay. Jump in. Let's get a picture. Big smiles. Perfect. Thank you. You guys have done an awesome job with the decorations. <laughs> uh, actually, it was Nick's idea. Really? I helped too. You helped too. Thank you. <laughs> talk to him. Well, not today. Look at how happy he is. Don't we'll spoil it. David, it has to be today. He doesn't know about the change in plan. He still thinks that you have got two months before you leave. You have to tell hey. him that you are... Oh, hi. Congratulations. Hi. Oh. Welcome Nick home, baby. Yes. She's so cute. The happiness of welcoming our baby Jess was taken over by the pain of separation. How was I supposed to feel? Happy or scared? David was leaving in three days. He would be gone for ten months. It was so sudden, so unexpected. I was trying to be strong and supportive, but inside I was breaking down. I couldn't help it, but I kept on thinking, what if, what if David never makes it back? What if something happens to him? How would I cope? And what about Nick? I was worried about him. I thought about our baby Jess. What if she never gets to meet her dad? What if she never remembers David? Why did he have to leave? This wasn't supposed to happen. All this was happening so fast, I wasn't prepared at all. But I knew that I had to be strong. 
I had to be strong for Nick and Jess. I had to be strong for my David. Just fed her. I don't know why she isn't sleeping. Shh. I'm tired. And she can't stay and get some rest. We'll see what needs to be done to make her baby happy. No, I. I think I'll manage. I don't need rest. I'm fine. Yes, you do. You need a lot of rest. Take care of it. Is it Tommy or baby? David, seriously, I'm okay. No, you're not. Seriously, David, I'm fine. You're not fine. You need sleep. No, I don't need sleep, all right? And anyway, you're not going to be here after three days to help me. So just let me manage everything by myself. so guilty. Don't. Don't feel guilty. This is something you need to do and I respect that so never feel guilty about it. It's just that I'm going to miss you so much. I'm going to miss you all too. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I guess I am a bit tired. <laughs> I'm very tired actually. <laughs> Do you mind if I lie down for a bit? You think you'll be okay with Jess? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <sighs> David, please talk to Nick. Do you want me to be there when you tell him? No. I'll talk to him. I promise. Jesse's room. Here was Bobby, mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. Nick, so to David, Jesse. <laughs> All the family is in this picture. It's great. Do you Maybe. think Jesse will like it? I think she'll love it. I'm going to put it in a room. Awesome. Great. Um, Nikki, I need to talk to you about something very important. What? I don't want to wait, Jess. So let's have a little chat outside. Okay, let's go. <coughs> I need to talk to you about something really important. Man to man. Is that? You know how I was supposed to be deployed in April, right? Oh yeah. Have they told you where you were going? Or is it still a secret? Still a secret. Cool. And it has been an emergency. And we need to report immediately. What type of emergency? I can't tell you that. But I need to leave this Friday. Friday? That's so soon. That's just three days from today. How long will you be gone for? A few months. How many months? Um, six. Six months? But that's too long. Can we go with you? Not this time. Though. Why not? 
And why do you have to leave so soon? Will you be able to visit me on my birthday? No. But I promise I'll make it up to you when I get back. But why are you going this Friday? Can't you go after a few weeks? It's very hard. I have to go. But we can talk on the phone. And we can video chat sometimes. I can tell you and Soldier David what's going on with the mission and you can tell me what's going on here. Nikki, I'm gonna miss you so much. Listen to me, buddy. I need you to do me a very important mission. I need you to look after your mum and Jess while I'm away. Can you promise me that? But who's gonna take care of me? Mummy will. But what if she's too busy with Jessie all the time? She will play with me. She will. You just will be crawling in a few months. She's going to follow you everywhere. I just know that the three of you are going to have s such a good time. Can't wait to hear all about it. I'm very proud of you, son. You're my brave boy, aren't you? I miss you too, son. Fried rice. I hate fried rice. What's for dinner?
challenges. There's nothing like a big or small problem. Fiona alert. Seriously? Oh my god. God. Oh no, keep your head down. She might just pass. What's going on? Who are we hiding from? Who's Fiona? And why are we hiding anyway? Oh hello girlfriends. What a surprise. We're about to find out. Fiona. So good to see you all here. Is that the same outfit you were wearing last time I saw you? You need new clothes. Maybe you can get some when you get a new job. <laughs> Tracy, honey, I almost didn't recognize you. You look like a skeleton. Okay, when you see all those muffins on, you don't want to blow up like a balloon again. Now it's great to see you too, Fiona. Oh, wait, I don't know you, but do something about that hair. Nina, you look horrible. Oh, thank you, Fiona. You're so sweet. I mean, you have so many lovely things to say about everyone every time. How do you manage that? Oh, darling, don't get me the wrong way, oh, sweetie. No. Oh, I mean, you know what? You and I, we are the same, hon. Aren't we the same? I mean, aren't we? Uh, well, anyway, I mean, I'm a better looking, more attractive version of you. But apart from that, we're in the same boat. Skip a beat. How are you, sweetheart? Sorry I didn't call yesterday. Things here have been a bit crazy. Are you guys safe? We're safe. Don't worry. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, look at that smile. Look at her. Look at her laughing. 
I can't believe she's six months old already. Yes, it's been six months. I miss you all so much. Talking to you is the best part of my day. David, don't know why, but I worry about you these days. Promise me you're safe. We're safe. Believe me, Lena. The locals here are actually really friendly. There's just a few causing trouble, but I'm fine. Don't worry. Lena. I'm fine, don't worry. Okay? Where's Nikki? He's upstairs in his room. You know what? I really wanted to speak to you first. Because once he's down, he won't let us talk at all. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to show you something. It's his birthday this Saturday. I miss him a lot. So I've made him something. I'll try and put it in the post tomorrow. Wow, that's beautiful, honey. Jesse, look what I've sent me. Look, yeah, isn't it great? Yeah, I'm sure he'll love it. Just give me one sec, I'll call him downstairs, all right? Nikki? Nick? Dad's online, come downstairs quickly. Daddy! Nikki! Hi, so to it? Let's talk to Daddy! Woohoo! There he is. Bye, Jesse. Okay. Oh, Nick, just give me one second. Yeah. Jesse, say bye. Don't push your mind. Bye. bye. That's not nice. Oh. Alright, bye, David. See you. Bye. bye. Let's go. Let's go. Say bye. Nick, stop pushing. Daddy. Daddy, when are you coming back? For another four to five months, son. Um, got something to show you.
What are you doing? Why are you throwing all the letters, Nick? There's no letter from Daddy. He said he'll send me a special birthday card, but it hasn't arrived yet. Uh, I'm sure it will reach here by Monday, okay? Monday? Well, my birthday's tomorrow, and then on Monday. <sighs> Mummy! What? Did I call when I was at school? No. When is he going to call? Nick, he might call today, he might call tomorrow, I'm not sure, alright? He'll call, I promise. When is that going to come home? Uh, a few months, in a few months. How many months? It has been six months already. Uh, just a few more months, Nick, and then Daddy will be with us. Alright, baby? Why can't I work here like the other dads? What was that for? You're not answering me! Okay, just shut up and go upstairs. Fine! How are you? Hi, how do I look today? You look beautiful, Myra. Does Nick want to come to my house for a play day? Well, let me just ask him, Nick. Nick, mm -hmm. you want to go to Myra's house for a play day? No, I don't want to go anywhere. It's all right. We can just stay here and play with Jess. That's a good idea. Come no, on. let's go to your house. Can I, Mom? If you want to. Come on, Myra. Nick, why are you jealous of your little sister? Nick is a jealous little man. I'm not jealous, clingy clingerson. You're a silly old mama. I'm a clingy clingerson. Alright, let's go to your house now. Hello. Hey guys, hey hi guys. Nick. Hi. Hi Nick. Hi. Um. Who's that? That's Maura. Marathi Maura. Here's Maura. Maura were the soldiers to great Indian king Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. Soldiers just like my daddy? Exactly. Soldiers just like your daddy. I really like his uniform, especially his hat. Would you like to try one? You have a hat just mm -hmm. like him? I'll get one for you. But, but where did you get it from? We got it from India. India? Yes. Wow. Oh, there you go. There you go. Come here. Stand here. Whoa, oh, nice. nice. How yeah, do I look? Awesome. You look just like Marathi Maura. Wow. What do you say now? Hara Hara Mahadev. Hara Hara Mahadev. And just when Nick began talking to David, the call got disconnected. From that moment, he's asking me the same question over and over again. Did dad call? Did dad call? When is he going to call? When is he going to call? And I don't know what to say. Sometimes I don't understand what to do. I mean, Jessie, she still doesn't sleep through the night. She wants me to pick her up all the time. Otherwise, she'll just cry. Just look at my house, Alexa. It's, it's a total mess. I mean, uh, I feel that I'm doing everything wrong these days. No, don't say that. Seriously, I mean, Nick, I don't know what's gotten into him. You know, he's angry all the time. And Jesse, I can't even make my own kids happy. Nina, come on. I mean, that's what babies do. They cry. Chris was just like that. It doesn't mean that you don't care about them. It's just a phase. It'll pass. Don't beat yourself up. You know what? I don't blame you. Motherhood and guilt, I mean, it's a package deal. You know, it doesn't matter what we do for our kids, we always feel guilty. It's just never enough. I guess you're right. You know what? I have an idea. Tomorrow's Nick's birthday, right? How about if I take Nick and Jess for the whole day and you can have some time to yourself? Oh, really, you don't have to do that, I'm fine. No, it's, it's really, it's no big deal. I mean, Chris and Nick, I mean, they can play together and I can think of something to do with little Jess. Yeah, 
Just think about it. I don't know. I mean, you already have your hands full and I feel that it's too much to ask. Absolutely not. You guys have always been there for me. It's the least I can do. Alexa, it's just that, you know, my kids... I'm not taking no for an answer. You need some time for yourself. I mean, think about it. I mean, you can sleep, relax, go to the spa, get okay. your hair done. <laughs> okay, stop. It's really tempting, but um, let me just think about it, okay? Okay. Like me. Not like him, I guess. Well, while I'm away, I thought if you're missing me and you can't talk to me, then maybe you'll be here for you. Oh, thank you. No, I don't want to go. Oh, come on, Nick. Tomorrow we can all go to the zoo or the trampoline arena. It'll be fun. What do you think? But what about Dad calls that I'm not home? Well, maybe we could ask your mum to give him my number. Please, Nick, it'll be really fun. No! I can give you some ice cream, and you don't even have to tell Mummy. It can be our little secret. What do you say? But why is Jenny going away? Are you going away just like Daddy? No, I just thought it'd be fun for you, Nick, and... I don't want to go! Okay, stop shouting. Alexa, thanks for offering, but we can't really force him. Maybe some other time? That's okay. Will you take care? And Nick, if you change your mind by tomorrow, the offer is still open. Nick, wait... I'm so sorry. Still awake, birthday boy? Hmm. Hey. Come here. Did you enjoy your party today? Okay. Listen. I was not planning to go anywhere. Right? I'm right here with you and Jesse. I'm not going anywhere. I'm sorry if you felt that way, maybe. Okay? How about we both go out somewhere tomorrow? Just you and me. We can go to the zoo, to park, to movies, whatever you like. Your choice. Well, how about Jesse? Well, we can ask Myra's mom to look after her and we'll go on a special date. What do you think? Yeah? You want to do that? Okay, great. What do you want to do? Tell me. I want to go fishing just like I went with Daddy. You want to go fishing? But I don't know how to fish. Do you think you can teach me? Of course I can teach you. Alright, great. But for that, now you're asleep because it's really very late. Let me tuck you in. Come on. Oh, mommy, I can't sleep. It's just such thing that we just stay up a little bit. <laughs> okay. You know what? I can't sleep either. How about... We will go downstairs, we'll make some yummy hot chocolate, put some marshmallows in it and watch the DVD Dad sent us. <gasps> yeah? 
You want to do that? Can Sanchi do will come as well? Uh, of course he can. Why not? Great. Come on, let's go. You want to hop in? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Woohoo! Hey Nick, it's Dad here. Mummy sent me one of your favourite books so that I could keep reading to you each night, even though I'm not there. Um, so this is one of your favourites. The hero knew this was not the real Jimmy, but an imposter. The real teenage photographer was still shrunk to tiny size in the insect room. Who are you? He asked. The phony Jimmy Olsen laughed. His face changed shape. His red hair disappeared. He grew shorter. Then he began to spin around faster and faster. Suddenly, floating a few yards from his face was a weird little man wearing a purple hat. Hello? Hello, it's, it's Mrs. James, uh, Nick's classroom teacher. Hi, Mrs. James, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Uh, I was just wanting to find out, are you going to be doing this afternoon's pickup? Yes. Oh, fantastic. Look, I just wanted to know, is there any chance you can come by the classroom and meet with me? Oh, you sure? I will. Why? Is everything okay? Is Nick all right? Nick's fine. Everything's great. Um, but there was an incident today and, and I'd really like to discuss it with you. Um, I just wanted to have a talk and look and see what was going on. And I just wanted to see whether, you know, Billy and Nick were friends or if things had been good at home. Um, just wanted to see that if everything was settled okay. Why Billy? Can't believe this. How could you do that? Nick! Uh, Mrs. Wills, please. Nick, won't you be a good boy? Pop over to the reading corner and find yourself a book, okay? Off you go. How is Billy doing? Well, there was a lot of bleeding. We did have to send him home. I rang before to check on him and I spoke to his mum, but they did need to do stitches. Oh my God. Uh, Nick will be getting two weeks detention and we've asked him to write a letter of apology to Billy and you'll need to sign it. Sure. God, I'm so sorry for his behaviour. I really don't understand what to do with this boy anymore. He behaves the same way at home, always screaming, shouting, throwing tantrums. I'm really tired now. Nick is showing signs of severe stress. And there's been little things in the last couple of months and I didn't want to worry you because I know you've got a lot on your plate. But after today's incident, things have really escalated. I am very concerned. Do you know Mrs. Foxley? Our guidance counsellor? Yeah. She has been working with Nick since your husband's deployment. I think it'd be really good if you got to talk to her. She's not here today. I've made an appointment for 11 o'clock tomorrow. Can you come? Yes, sure. I'll do. Wonderful. Good. <sighs> Nick, why did you hit Billy? Nick, why did you hit Billy? Tell me. I just don't want to talk about it. Well, you have to talk about it, okay? You have to. You punched a kid. Do you realize that? Nick, come on. Tell me why did you hit Billy? What happened? At least tell me. Talk to me. He said something I didn't like. What did he say? Tell me. I don't want to talk about it. This is not a good enough answer. God, I'm so tired of this behavior of yours, Nick. Ever since dad has been deployed, you're giving me a hard time. Every single day something new is happening with you. What's going on, Nick? Come on, Nick. Talk to me. What happened? Nick, I'm asking you something. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, don't talk, alright? Don't talk at all. Just to the doctor. Are you listening? Yes! 
then respond please and hurry up myra will be here soon why did you have to cry all the time you okay, have to be nice to her she has got fever right nikki i'll be coming to your school today why i have a meeting with mrs foxley Sweetheart, do you want to talk about what happened yesterday? No, I don't want to talk about it. Please, darling. No, I don't want to talk about that. Oh, look at my library bag. I'll be back in a week. Hello. Good morning. How do I look today? You look gorgeous as always, Myra. How are you feeling now? You didn't go to school yesterday. No, I have a tummy ache. But now I feel fine. Isn't it pretty? Dad is waiting in the car. Oh, he's waiting, is it? Okay, I'll get him for you. Come inside. Hey, Hey, Jesse. Peekaboo, peekaboo, peekaboo. What's wrong with you? Give it to me. No. Just give it to me. Give it to me now. No. No. I hate you, mom. I hate you too. Go now. Wait. Share my map. No, you're being so mean. That's just telling me why are you a loser. attention I always knew this wasn't going to be easy but now this is like a constant struggle every single day on top of that my my husband he hasn't called for 10 days and it's worrying me even more do you have any family you can talk to no not really we we don't have any immediate family we have some close friends and great neighbors though and They have been a huge help so far. I thank God for that. But you know what? They have their own lives. I mean, I can't rely on them every time, right? What about what about a support group? Well, there are a few great support groups around here for families of deployed soldiers, and I have been to some of them and. <sighs> I don't know how to explain this to you. Mrs. Wells, please tell us what's ever on your mind. We're here to help. Uh, well, lately, lately I feel that uh, I feel that I'm failing as a mother. Sorry. I mean, Nick used to be such a cheerful little boy. You remember, right? Smiling, laughing, cracking jokes, playing tricks. But now he's angry all the time, all the time. It's like he has he has forgotten to smile, and I blame myself for that. It's not your fault. I think it is. I think it is. Just this morning, I said something to him which, which I shouldn't really have. I don't know. I was so upset that I. Nick was throwing tantrums as usual, and he he snatched the toy from her hand, and I don't know. Maybe I was tired or stressed, but. I just lost it at a point and I said to him I hate him. Mrs. Wells, you didn't mean that. Don't be hard on yourself. I understand it must be tough for you. And even for Nick, it must be a cycle of emotions going on inside his little mind right now. However, it's very important for us to understand that children are often unable to articulate their feelings and thoughts as adults do. If they are having trouble dealing with stress, it's often present in their behaviour and health complaints. 
they tend to act out rather than express themselves. That's what's happening to Nick. This morning when I asked him what it was that triggered him to hit Billy, he just clammed up, didn't say a word. So, what do you think we should do? We can't force it right now, Mrs. Wells. He's in a very delicate mindset. For the time being, we need to just let him be. Don't force any negative reaction if he starts acting up. Your reaction will trigger his behaviour even more. Observe him. There's definitely something he's holding in his heart. And we need to help him let that out. It might be anger, fear, jealousy, sorrow. Something he's trying to cover up. Can I ask you a question? When he says he misses his father, does he ever cry? No, not really. The last time I remember him crying was six months ago, the day when David left. I'm fantastic as usual. But what's wrong with you? You look ghastly. Yep, I heard you the first time. Those dark circles under your eyes. I mean, goodness gracious, see at me. I must say you look like a bloody panda. <laughs> I must say you have a fabulous sense of humor, Fiona. But you know the thing about pandas, right? If you come too close to them, they attack you. So back off. Okay. Anyway, how's David? How long has he been away? Well, more than six months now. Oh, really? My goodness, time flies like a breeze! Oh, poor you. You look so tired. I bet that single motherhood has taken a toll on you, huh? What? Well, I mean, you were a single mum when you met David, and then you must have thought that marrying an army man would be fun, all that travel and everything. But look at you now, I pity you. No, don't pity me. I'm doing just fine. No need to pity me, any single mother or any mother for that matter. Instead, show some respect. Respect another human being for a change, Fiona. Respect a mother. You're a mother yourself, right? You should know better. Whether it's a single mom, married, working, not working, rich, poor, every mother out there is trying her best. We all are like soldiers, warriors, fighting a new battle every single day. Yes, we don't wear uniforms or we don't get any medals for that, but we do fight those invisible battles. And my husband, he's not in London, Paris or New York, Fiona. Him and his troops are out there somewhere risking their lives so that we can feel safe. He hasn't called me in 10 days, okay? I don't even know if he's safe or in some kind of danger. But I'm still living my life with a brave face on because I've got my babies to look after. But you know what? If I could go back in time, I'd still marry him all over again. Because I love him, I'm proud of him, and I'm proud to be an army wife. Respect that. Hi, Nick. Nick, why aren't you saying hi? 
Nick, you don't want to talk? I'm not going to talk to you either. Did you hear that, Nick? Nick, did you hear that? I'm going to have a new best friend from today. Hmm, let me see who can be my best friend. I know. Jack. No, he pinches me all the time. I know. Mary. No, she talks a lot. Hmm. I know. Holly. No, she likes peanut butter and I don't. I know Baby Jess. Nick, Baby Jess is going to be my best Good, friend. Good, because I don't want to be your best friend either. I don't like you, Myra. I don't like you. I don't like the crab Baby Jess. And I don't like Mommy. The only two people I like is Dad and Soldier David. Dad is away. And Mom took Soldier David away because of you, Myra. You told me. So get out of here! I know you won't be able to sleep without him. Nick, whatever I said this morning, I didn't mean it at all. I'm sorry. Mommy loves you. I love you a lot. I know you're missing Daddy. I miss him too. Let's just pray for him, all right? For him and all his troops. Let's just pray that everyone is safe. I love you, sweetie. Nikki, Nick, Dad's online. Dad's online. Daddy! Hi, Nick. Daddy! <laughs> so, Nick, don't cry. <sighs> I'm sorry I didn't call you for your birthday. <sighs> Nick, listen to me. Right. <laughs> Yesterday at school, well, I punched Billy. What? Why? He said something to me I didn't like. What did he say? He said, well, there was nothing. What, Nick? You can tell me. He said there was a soldier in the movie and he was fighting on... What? I don't want to talk about it. What did he say? That the soldier dies? You haven't called for so long. I thought something bad might happen to you and when Billy said those words, I felt very angry and I... Punched him. Oh. Do you think that was the right thing to do? Son, punching, hitting or fighting someone is a cowardly act. It doesn't make you a strong person. If someone does something to you you don't like, walk away or ask them to stop. If they continue doing it, talk to the teacher or talk to mum. Admitting that you need help is okay. Punching someone? That's wrong. Can I ask you a question? Sure, son. If fighting is bad, why do we have wars? Why do soldiers like you fight? One boy in my class said that, Nick, your dad is a soldier. Has he ever killed someone? I don't know the answers to these questions. That just makes me feel very angry. Nick, how do I answer this? It's true, soldiers sometimes fight in, in the war. 
but we don't fight because we hate what's in front of us. We fight because we've made a promise, a promise to protect our land, protect our loved ones. If someone tries to hurt our country, we fight back. But being a soldier is more than just fighting in wars. It's about helping people in need. Sometimes troops build roads, schools, hospitals. If someone needs us, if something happens, we're there. We're trained for the most extreme circumstances so that we're really ready for anything. And we do this because we love our country and we want to protect it. It comes from a place of love, not a place of hate. Daddy, you're so brave and strong. I wish I could be like you. If you want to be strong like Daddy, you need to start by helping people. Helping people around you. Mummy's been looking after you and Jesse all on her own. She could use some help. She'll love it. Teach Jesse some of the tricks I taught you. Help your mates. And if you're sad or angry, it's okay to cry. Sometimes we all cry. I even cry when I'm missing you all too much. You do? You bet. These are the things that make you a strong person, son. Always remember that.
entertainment. Hi. Hi, Jessie. Good morning. What's this? Did Nikki give it to you? Yeah? Yeah, he did? <laughs> he did, right? Oh. oh, he did, right? What is this, Jesse? Did he share it with you? <laughs> yes, he did. He did. Why did you bite my kiss off? Why did you bite my kiss off? Um, <laughs> oh, my Nikki is back. My Nikki is back. Mm, I missed you. I was you the whole time, mommy. Oh. Okay, you're hungry? Yeah? Yes, you are. What do you want to eat? Huh? Pancakes. Pancakes. All right, come on. Let's, let's make some pancakes. Come on, come on. I love it. After this fabulous performance by our very talented Year 6 students, another fantastic item coming up. We would like to present our talented primary class kids performing the song Special Dream, written and composed by our very own Miss Mason. Say so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please give them a big hand.
As principal, I would like to welcome you all, parents here today, and thank you for coming. I'd like to introduce to you Nick. Um, Nick's father couldn't be here today, unfortunately, as some of you may know, because he's in the Army and he's been deployed. Um, Nick, we would like to thank you and thank all those brave soldiers that helped to keep our country safe. Um, I would like to ask all of you to, to rise and give a rounding applause to all of our brave soldiers that help to keep our country safe and well protected. Dad, he came home wrapped in a flag. It was a very, very sad day for all of us. Why do we have wars? What have we achieved out of it? Dad, I miss you a lot. But at the same time, I am proud of you. I am proud to be called your son. I promise one day I'll make you proud. I promise I will use my strengths to help people for protecting my loved ones and my country. I promise when I grow up, I'll be a soldier just like you.